could Dragon Ball Spark and Zero have brand new what if fusions? Now, are they new? Maybe not so new. Maybe we could just bring up stuff that they made in previous Dragon Ball games that I'll be talking about here uh, later in the video. But with recent news or a recent interview not too long ago from June for Atani himself he pretty much hints at that it could be a possibility in this tweet it says new fusions may be present in sparking zero what ifs according to june for a tiny in a new interview he is keeping their hand hidden for now until we experience it we may get the goddamn role model tiencha again now if you guys do not know who tiencha or tiencha whatever yeah, however you uh, pronounce his name this is actually from budokai 2 i'll be touching more on budokai 2 later in the video but he, that is where this fusion is from it is real it is from a video game could we see it in the future there's a lot of other what if um fusions that you guys may or may not know of if you play that game or not so i will be talking more about that later in the video but to what the interviewer said and what Fortani said so i know you probably can't say but i gotta ask through these what if scenarios is there any chance that we could see any new fusions born in this game Fortani says very cool question hard question to answer we want to leave the what ifs a little hidden for until the game is out so he basically says i mean he didn't confirm or not confirm that um it would be a thing but there's a high ch well not high chance there's a chance there is a chance that it could be new fusions in dragon ball spark and zero and with this information i kind of just wanted to uh go through and look at the stuff that we already know about and things that we may have thought of before and if there's anything that i missed or anything that you would like to see be in the game as far as a form or a fusion um that could have happened in the dragon ball franchise let me know we, could, we can talk about it in the comments but um this is this is interesting this is actually really cool news so i definitely being a og dragon ball lover and i do like budokai 2 it's underrated in my opinion i know a lot of people hate it because the whole chessboard thing budokai 2 i like it i don't care what anybody says i have to pull this up so you guys can see all of the different fusions failed and not failed fusions. so i'm gonna go ahead and play this so it's go 10 so obviously it's gonna be go tanks right I do miss that though, where if you mess up the button inputs, it, it messes you up. So could we see fat tanks in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? I think this is an easy one. This could easily be a character or a fusion put into Dragon Ball Sparking Zero because there's a lot of instances where he could mess up and he has messed up when he's fighting or he's about to fight Super Buu and they're trying to prepare and learn how to use the fusion technique, maybe they um they just could not learn it they couldn't get it down and the only thing they could do was to try and fight him as fat tanks and they could never get the actual fusion down i don't know and then later in the video i'll be talking about uh dragon ball super a little bit too so stay tuned for that skinny tanks could be in dragon ball sparking zero as well because he did mess up he did turn into that when he was practicing so why not why not let that be an option as well would people want that i don't know that's up for, up for you guys to debate now this is a funny one if you've never seen this you're, you're gonna you're gonna just be like this is gross hercule mr satan and goku that's just one of his forms right that's if that's if hercule throws the patara to goku right this is nasty this is handsome squidward in dragon ball form almost this is it's disgusting but then if goku throws if goku throws the batar ring to hercule one more thing i'll keep pausing it i don't think anything could get that desperate for them to fuse together and honestly i think it would lessen goku's power level if he fused with hercule it wouldn't do anything it wouldn't do anything to benefit to fuse a hercule but that's just the part of what if so this actually looks a lot better but it's still weird it's a very gross form but i honestly would love to see this one maybe not the other hercule goku form this one i actually would like to see in the game would you guys want a patara fusion of hercule and goku either or or just this one or the other one let me know i think would be kind of cool oh we actually get to see his attack too so he has spirit bomb <laughs> oh he's got the mustache and then some stubble on his chin all right so what is this one 
Oh, this is just going to be uh, Vegito. So we, we, know, we all know about this one, so we can skip that. This next one. This next one. We don't have Supreme Kai in the game. Supreme Kai is not in base roster of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which is weird. That's a weird choice. I'm going to be talking about more that more about that in another video. It's a weird choice, but this is a fusion video. So you guys may be knowing what's coming up next. Kabito, take the one off your left ear. Kabito Kai. So obviously this is not going to be in the game. This form is not going to be in the game if we don't even have Supreme Kai yet. Maybe he'll come in the game in a way you didn't think he would come into the game. I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, like I said, I'm got, I got a video about that. He may not be the Supreme Kai you think he's going to be. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about that. Not in this video though. And then here is, I think this is the Tian Cha. This is the Tian Cha fusion. If you mess up, they messed up the fusion. Oh, so skinny Tian Cha. This is gross. Like that's that that's nasty. So he has Yamcha scar. Then he has the third eye. He's half bald, half hair. Disgusting. They they were having fun with this one. They were having fun with Budokai too. I can't lie. They I think the devs were just having a good time. I will be touching on the absorptions as well a little bit later in the video. But I wanted this. I wanted to touch on a form that I'm pretty sure a lot of us would have loved to see, or a fusion that a lot of us would have loved to see, and that is when goku threw the patar earring to gohan in dragon ball z when they were fighting super boo if go i think goku either overthrew it or gohan couldn't see it because he didn't have his glasses on which is weird because there's other situations where he didn't have his glasses and he could see things i don't know it was it was all it was a weird weird situation but a goku and gohan fusion would be amazing now they did have some dialogue like this in dragon ball fighters that i wanted to just have you guys listened to which is really cool this seems i think fighters had a lot of what if interactions that was really cool that's the best thing about fighters when it comes to the story mode that i loved um so we'll be, we'll be getting that but tenfold in sparking zero which is like something it's gonna be, that's gonna be really amazing tough battle i'm afraid i'm not going to be powerful enough to be of much help in the fight don't sweat it gohan you'll be totally fine if push comes to shove, we can just fuse together as father and son. Fuse? Me and you? That fusion would be That's so, so, idea, so, so Dad. strong. I know, right? But if we fused, what would our name be? Goku or maybe Gohau? <laughs> Gohan? Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't want to rain on your it, it might be Goku, honestly. Up. You'll be no more than dead weight. And you don't have the time right now to practice, so let's just forget about that. Oh, really? <laughs> That's too bad. I'm gonna be honest. I wanted to try out that really cool pose just once. Wait, cool? Are you talking <laughs> about the fusion pose? Huh? Of yeah, course, I'll of course he cool, would think it's cool. Think? He's great, oh, Saiyan man. Uh, Come on now. Sure. Oh, that's right, Gohan. I'll teach you the fusion pose after the fight. Sound good? <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks. If he thinks that fusion pose is cool, he is definitely Goku's son. What are you mumbling over there, Piccolo? Are you making fun of me? Uh-oh, <laughs> here comes the enemy. Less mumbling and more fighting, guys. Let All right, that's it. So, honestly, so that, that was that was a really cool interaction, right? If it's not cool, let me know. But I, th I thought it was a pretty cool interaction. But um, I honestly think Goku and Gohan fused together especially the way Gohan is right now do you would you guys think that he a fusion between him two or them two would be better than Goku and Vegeta I feel like I don't know if this does anything with the, with the fusion whether it's Patara or the fusion dance I feel like they would have more synergy with him being father and son would that unlock more potential of the fusion I don't know I think it would I think that would make for a very, very interesting fusion. And like I was saying, when they were facing Super Boo, Gohan had missed the Patar earring in a what if situation 
he grabs it and he turns into go goku or go hot whatever the form ends up being it would be dope it would be dope if you guys think otherwise let me know because I, I think it would be pretty cool now this is interesting I don't know in what way or, or what form or how this would even happen how boo super boo would meet Frieza but this would be an interesting form and I'm gonna be honest this would be a dangerous this would be a dangerous ass form super boo or boo in general uh, not, not the fat boo but super boo kid boo whatever they are already innately evil and then just having the pure just hatred like pure hate the knowledge of frieza and then the pure hatred of frieza mixed with boos just innate um just evil I, it would be it'll be insane i don't know i don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm just rambling i'm rambling but that would be a crazy form all right this one i think my it, it's sale now cell and boo this fusion if this was a real thing my two cents on this i think they would just love to fight they would love to fight they would just be just like goku just like vegeta because we all know cell if he wanted to he could have killed everybody on earth didn't give anybody a chance but instead he wanted to fight because he thought it was fun it was his, it was the sand cells that are in his body that made him want to fight get stronger and actually test his skills super boo in his own right had that same had that same kind of energy he doesn't didn't have saiyan cells in his body um i mean of course after he fused you know boo uh gohan and stuff he did but um he had that same curiosity like wondering how strong the fighters could get while he was waiting because he didn't want to be bored now if you if you mix that curiosity from super boo and you mix the saiyan cells or like the spirit of being a fighter with from cell mix that in together essentially essentially that's they're gonna be like goku and vegeta because he wants to just purely fight for the enjoyment and having to fight strong characters that's just that's my two cents on it and then this one tn and yamcha which is crazy he said not both not one of them but both of them Yeah, he will be pissed. I did think this was kind of cool though, but I was playing this back when I was a kid. But honestly, I feel like Boo would just spit them up if he realized that they were that weak after absorbing them. And then Vegeta. I thought this was cool. This could, this honestly, this could be a thing as well. I know in the whole Boo saga, you know, he blew himself up as Majin Vegeta. But when he comes back to help out, that could be, he maybe comes back earlier. Maybe he doesn't turn evil, but he ends up still having to fight Super Boo or Super Boo somehow still becomes a thing. I could see this form being a thing or this absorption being a thing. I think it would be pretty cool. Final Flash. I like how every absorption, his voice changed in Budokai 2. I like the the, the the small attention to details they put into that game, I just loved. Um, again, Budokai 2, in my opinion, is underrated. If there's a character that you think Boo would interact with and would want to absorb, let me know, let me know. But now, onto super superhero, right? Again, I'm thinking Fat Tanks could be a character because it did happen in Z, it was animated. It, we did we did see it in super super superhero some fat tanks action but to add on and this i know this is a very 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 short but to add on to the whole what if thing at the end of the super superhero movie right they hinted or they teased us they basically teased us showing that they both fused perfectly Whereas in like as they were fighting they couldn't do it Or they didn't do it perfectly because it had been a while since they had done it But they got it right at the very end before the credit scenes So what if they ended up getting the fusion right when fighting Cell Max and we got to see Or we get to see Adult Gotenks or Teen Gotenks 
I know this is Dragon Ball superhero or Dragon Ball Heroes. This is insane right here, by the way. But uh, I know this is Dragon Ball Heroes. But if we got to see, uh, all right. So we're just gonna have to look at the thumbnail. But what if we got to see adult go tanks or teen go tanks in Dragon Ball Spark Zero? That would be amazing. That would be cool. That would be honestly groundbreaking. I think a lot of people would love to see that. Everybody's always wanted to see Goten and Trunks uh, grow up. And a byproduct of them growing up, we would get to see an older version, a teen version, or an adult version of Gotenks. That would be so badass. And then finally, to end my video, in OG Dragon Ball Z Budokai, there is what if episodes there's one or two what if episodes in each saga i actually do have a playlist if you guys want to see me fight and me play this is gameplay that i made like a year and a half a year and a half ago so it may not hold up may or may not i'm not sure but if you want to see me play through the what if scenarios link will be in the description down below but there's a specific one that i'm bringing up in this video cell absorbs krillin right this was one of the most wackiest things as a kid and when I was younger, only going off of information from like Toonami, and when I saw this in the video game, I was like, oh, did they really do that in the anime? Not knowing it was just a what if thing as a kid. I didn't know it was a what if situation because there wasn't a lot of information when I was younger to know if it was real or not. It wasn't until I got a little bit older and I realized, I was like, oh, this is just for this specific game. So he's about to absorb 18, but as he's about to absorb 18, like right, right before he does, Krillin will step in. Yep, Krillin steps in. So then you fight Krillin, you beat him up. And then right before Cell's about to prick her and absorb her, Cell, I mean, uh, Krillin, Krillin gets absorbed and then ultimately I'm just gonna let it play out I'm gonna let it play out ultimately he turns into selling um basically sell junior as a reskin and he has the little dots on his head like Krillin I always thought that was funny And I always thought that was funny too because they realized they realized that Cell lost a ton of power by absorbing Krillin. So they thought they could take him. But little did they know Krillin is the strongest Earthling. Out of the out of the bunch, all of the Z fighters, he is the strongest Earthling. So even with Cell being severely underpowered, they, they don't have a chance, bro. They don't have a chance. So yeah, there's gameplay. Um in a link down below if you guys want to see me fight. But I just thought that was a really, really interesting situation. Maybe they could re revamp it and put this same situation in Dragon Ball Spark Zero and we get to fight or use selling at s for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe it could just be a what if thing because the base roster is already made. Uh, the roster is what it is. Maybe in, in the future they could add some of these what if uh, characters if there are what if fusions for DLC in the future. Um, but they could just be locked to the what if situations themselves. And then one last thing, um, we all remember that in the Broly movie, this was Goku and Vegeta's first time canonically fusing and doing the fusion dance. So they had to learn how to do it from Piccolo himself. So out of this, I can come up with three fusions that we could possibly see if there is legit what if scenarios where you can use characters like this. So um, here's one. So Goku is practicing with Piccolo, right? Of course, I'm pretty sure they like somehow turn their key off or whatever so they wouldn't fuse with each other uh, or they weren't on the same level so it wouldn't happen. But what if they did actually genuinely wanted to fuse together? That would be a nasty, disgusting fusion, uh, but it would be pretty cool. It would be pretty cool. And then when it comes to learning, so Vegeta and Goku mess up, just like Gotenks. 
they would possibly have the fat form. Fat go uh, fat Gogeta, and then they could also have the skinny Gogeta as well. So that was just my subscriber sound effect. That threw me off, but I appreciate it. That's the video, guys. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure you guys have other situations in Dragon Ball Z, in Dragon Ball Super, where a fusion could have been done differently, or with some, you know, with a different character, or they maybe they messed up and did something else. Then there's characters that are missed, just completely missing, like um, Supreme Kai, Kabito Kai is definitely not gonna be in it because Supreme Kai's not in the game. But like I said, I have a video coming soon where Supreme Kai might join the game in a form you may not expect. Um, but again, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know your thoughts, what fusions, what forms you would like to see somehow make it in into the water situations. If it's a real thing, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.